Hi guys, good afternoon, evening. <laughs> Since it's five o'clock, I usually try to start around four. Um, it's five o'clock. Um, I would like to begin today's video with a few things. First off, I would like to um, show our support um, for Stephen Bias, who was laid to rest today. He was um, killed while serving our country. They had his funeral today in Wellston, and he was buried in Jackson today. Um, there was people standing out all over Wellston. Um, Mom and Cindy were there because they had to meet at the um, church lot to pick up stuff offline, and a bunch of them went to stand along the road to, because there's a lot of people standing along the road waiting for them to, the hearse to come by, and they had fire trucks there holding a flag down, and um, they had officers on motorcycles and fire trucks and everything going through there. And even um, General Mills had all their workers standing outside while he went by, which I thought was amazing. He used to work at General Mills. And um, they are also, General Mills is also closing down in um, honor of him on Sunday, which I just could not believe. I thought, wow, I cannot believe they're going to close down. That is amazing. So, I really think that's great of them to do that. So, I wanted to say that and, and, um, thoughts and prayers with Steve Bias's family and friends, of course, as well. This is probably going to be a really hard day for them, I'm sure, as will be many more. I think they said it was a suicide bombing that he was, um, somebody did over there. Where was it, in Afghanistan? Afghanistan. Somebody, some suicide bomber came in there and he was killed along with some others. So, you know, that's, anytime you lose someone, it's hard. And you know, it's especially hard when someone loses a child. So, you know, his parents, I'm sure very, very upset, as any parent would be. So thoughts and prayers for Stephen Bias's family and friends, please. And I would also like to ask prayer for my youngest sister, Melly. She is expecting another baby. Um, she just had a miscarriage in July, on July 4th, she was pregnant with a little girl, Raylynn, and she miscarried, and now she's pregnant again, and she was already in the hospital last night or this morning with bleeding, where she's having trouble already, and nobody's, nobody's happy. A lot of the family is not happy with her being pregnant. They're really upset about it, so she's like getting a lot of negative things thrown at her right now. And she also has to work third shift, which thankfully her job has let her off for a while because they know that she's going through this bleeding and everything. She's having trouble, so thankfully they're working with her. I don't know how she's going to be able to do that with cleaning, and I don't know if she's around chemicals or what. I don't know how that's going to be safe for her and the baby, but I'm not sure about that. But if you keep her in your prayers, and um, if you can keep my dad in your prayers as well. I talked to him today, and... Um, I would just like to ask 
for you to keep him in your prayers because I think he just really needs um, some prayers right now. He's going through a lot and I think he's going through a lot physically and mentally and everything. He's, he's constantly working, always busy, never has time to, for anything really. He's always he's always busy um, and some of the stuff he said I don't know if he's sick or I don't know what's going on but if you could please just keep him in your prayers because I think he, he really needs prayer right now as well so I'd really appreciate it if you'd keep Stephen Bias' family and friends in your prayers, my sister Melly in your prayers, and my dad Randy in your prayers. I appreciate it very much. Thank you guys. Now for our Bible reading, I will get to we're going to of course take off where we left off yesterday with Ephesians Chapter 4, verse 17 through verse 32. The old and the new life. So I'm telling you this, and I insist on it in the Lord. You shouldn't live your life like the Gentiles anymore. They base their lives on pointless thinking and they are in dark in their reasoning. They are disconnected from God's life because of their ignorance and their closed hearts. They are people who lack all sense of right and wrong and who have turned themselves over to doing whatever feels good and to practicing every sort of corruption along with greed. But you didn't learn that sort of thing from Christ since you really listened to him and you were taught how the truth is in Jesus change the former way of life that was part of the person you once were corrupted by deceitful desires instead renew the thinking in your mind by the spirit and clothe yourself with the new person created according to God's image in justice and true holiness therefore after you have gotten rid of lying each of you must tell the truth to your neighbor because we are parts of each other in the same body be angry without sinning don't let the Sun set on your anger don't provide an opportunity for the devil thieves should no longer steal. instead they should go to work using their hands to do good so that they will have something to share with whoever is in need don't let any foul words come out of your mouth only say what is helpful when it is needed for building up the community so that it benefits those who hear what you say don't make the Holy Spirit of God unhappy you were sealed by him for the day of redemption put aside all bitterness losing your temper anger shouting and slander along with every other evil be kind compassionate and forgiving to each other in the same way God forgave you in Christ and that was Ephesians chapter 4 verses 17 through 32 and for our psalm today we're going to read Psalm 69 which is for the music leader according to the lilies of David save me God because the waters have reached my neck I have sunk into deep mud my feet can't touch the bottom I have entered deep water the flood has swept me up I am tired of crying my throat is hoarse my eyes are exhausted with waiting for my God 
more numerous than my hairs on my head are those who hate me for no reason. My treacherous enemies, those who would destroy me, are countless. Must I now give back what I didn't steal in the first place? God, you know my foolishness. My wrongdoings aren't hidden from you. Lord, God of heavenly forces, don't let those who hope in you be put to shame because of me. God of Israel, don't let those who seek you be disgraced because of me. I am insulted because of you. Shame covers my face. I have become a stranger to my own brothers, an immigrant to my mother's children, because passion for your house has consumed me. The insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. I wept while I fasted. Even for that I was insulted. When I wore funeral clothes, people made fun of me. Those who sit at the city gate muttered things about me. Drunkards make up rude songs. But me? My prayer reaches you, Lord, at just the right time. God, in your great and faithful love, answer me with your certain salvation. Save me from the mud. Don't let me drown. Let me be saved from those who hate me and from these watery depths. Don't let me be swept away by the floodwaters. Don't let the abyss swallow me up. Don't let the pit close its mouth over me. Answer me, Lord, for your faithful love is good. Turn to me in your great compassion. Don't hide your face from me, your servant, because I'm in deep trouble. Answer me quickly. Come close to me. Redeem me. Save me because of my enemies. And that was Psalm 69 for the music leader according to the lilies of David. And lastly, for our Bible reading today, we're going to read a Proverbs, which is Proverbs chapter 24, verses 5 and verse 6. A wise person is mightier than a strong one, a knowledgeable person than a powerful one. You should make war with guidance. Victory comes with many counselors. And that was Proverbs chapter 24, verse 5 and verse 6. And we were reading that from the Common English Bible, guys. Okay, guys, so that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great evening, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.